Hello, everybody. My name is Conrad Weston, and I'm going to tell you about birds and plants of the tropical Americas, specifically the species seen on the Nova Caledonia trips uh, that we make our stops on the ships. There is a lot to see there culture, fish, uh, insects, there's all sorts of things, but I'm going to just stick to um, the uh, birds and plants, just in case you haven't decided uh, if these are attractive to you. So I'm going to try to explain you. This here is a map, uh, and you get these maps from the brochures. Uh, just in case you didn't get enough brochures, uh, contact the office and they will fill your house with brochures. So uh, this uh, is a route that starts in Cayman Islands. As you can see, it finishes in Antigua. It doesn't touch the mainland. So uh, it's not a very diverse uh, route. However, it does have a lot of endemic species to be seen in these islands. Uh, another of the routes that we have starts in Antigua, finishes in Barbados, but it does uh, touch down the mainland and also uh, Trinidad has a lot of species that are from the mainland. Uh, so it's quite a, an attractive route. We have another route right here, starting in San Eustatius, finishing in Cartagena. And uh, well, you can see that you will have the advantage of all the endemics on these islands. Uh, and then uh, it will actually uh, touch down the mainland in Colombia. Uh, so quite a lot of species to, to be seen here. This uh, <clears throat> is another route that uh, starts in Cartagena, finishes in Guatemala, crosses the Panama Canal. So a lot of species of plants and birds. Um, besides, it travels along the Pacific coast of uh, Central America. Um, there is uh, quite a variety of things to be seen uh, in this route. This other route right here um, starts in Cartagena and finishes in Costa Rica. Uh, some of you might even do a post trip uh, in Costa Rica where they will take you up to the highlands and uh, see a totally different ecosystem up there at the cloud forest. And other of the routes starting in Guatemala, finishing in Costa Rica as well. Uh, another good opportunity to see the Central American species of birds and plants. So to start, this is a bird that we're going to see uh, all throughout the Americas. Uh, I've seen it uh, way south in Chile, and it reaches all the way up to uh, Central America. It's called the uh, Rufus Colored Sparrow. Uh, found in open areas, uh, gardens, uh, borders of forests as well. Now here you can see uh, uh, interesting looking trees. They uh, have this characteristic bark and we call it gambolimbo or naked Indian. These uh, are relatives of the trees that produce mir in Africa. Uh, they do peel their layer of skin on the outside to uh, reveal a layer of chlorophyll. This way they can uh, carry on with photosynthesis as they drop their leaves uh, during the dry season to preserve water. Quite amazing trees, very sturdy for the dry season. As you're walking through these uh, tropical areas, sometimes you will come onto these mats of flowers. This right here happens to be the Malay apple. It's uh, the same family of eucalyptus. And the flowers of these trees uh, attract a lot of uh, birds uh, as well as the fruits. So whenever you find this uh, type of uh, tree, have a look. You might see some wildlife right on it. Definitely hummingbirds uh, are to be seen here. Uh, they are really fast moving birds. They uh, most of the time will be feeding as they're flying. Uh, their feet are almost non existent. And they have a muscle that makes about one third of their 
body weight, which is the muscle that allows them to fly even backwards. This happens to be the uh, Rufus Teo hummingbird, and this one is from Panama. Wood creepers are also here, and uh, you'll find them distributed uh, in different elevations. Since we're going to be uh, a lot in coastal areas, there is a good chance that you will see the straight deal uh, wood creeper, which uh, is found around mangroves. They are insectivores. Um, they are very similar one to each other, so it's a good idea to take a picture if you can, so you can define which species it is. Okay, this bark belongs to a tree that is somehow related to the baobabs and the cape fox and the balsas. It's called the beer belly balsa. And these uh, green veins allow the tree to survive without leaves for part of the year, uh, as it will drop the leaves uh, for, the, for the dry season. I like plants, because plants don't move and they make up for better picture subjects. So this one right here, the Shikong Heliconia. Heliconias are exclusively pollinated by hummingbirds uh, in the Americas. And you can see the flower in yellow right there. Uh, about 180 species uh, exist with many hybrids. Uh, so this is one of the uh, unusually looking plant groups that you will see in these regions. Prey birds are found here as well. Uh, as we approach coastal areas uh, on the ship, you can even see them from the ships many times. This happens to be a roadside hawk and uh, is found on both coasts of Central America. Okay, this one right here is actually a wren. I know in England you have a very small wren. Uh, this one here is maybe four or five times as big. And uh, still the same family, they feed on insects. Most of the wrens in this region are photophobic. They look for uh, cover in the vegetation. But this is one of the, the ones that comes out the most and is easy to see. One of the largest wrens uh, that we have in the region, Rufus Nape wren. Tanagers, uh, are fascinating birds with all the different colorations they come in. Uh, this is a picture that I took uh, next to a church in Salvador. And this is the uh, yellow wing tanager, uh, very similar to the uh, blue gray tanager, but they have this particular spot on the, on the wing. So you can actually um, see them uh, in Salvador quite easily. This uh, happens to be the Guanacaste tree or elephant ear tree. It is a, a excellent wood for construction of furniture. Uh, and also, uh, in many cases, they are above the canopy and provide perching uh, spots for hunting birds and other birds using a spurge. So birds and plants are, are very linked uh, one to the other. <clears throat> A bird from uh, North Costa Rica to Guatemala is this one right here. You will see the turquoise brown motmot. They are on the same uh, group as the kingfishers and they nest similarly, making a hole on the banks, excavating it. Um, there are some in the islands, in some few islands, but they're mainly in the uh, mainland of tropical America. This would be the turquoise browed mot mot. So uh, some of the spots that we visit are islands. And uh, this one here is actually an endemic bird. It's called the Rufus tail flycatcher. Uh, flycatchers are the largest family of birds on the planet. And uh, we will see a lot of them. But if you go to Jamaica and you see this bird, um, you can feel pretty lucky because you can only find it there in Jamaica. This uh, is a hummingbird uh, with very long streamers 
and uh, it's also from Jamaica. This one is not found anywhere else. Um, so you can recognize it because of the long tail streamers. Orioles are found in uh, all the roots uh, here in the Americas. However, this is a, a special uh, Oriole because it's ja Jamaican Oriole. And the Jamaican Oriole is endemic to Jamaica. So uh, they can uh, feed on nectar and, and fruits. As we travel uh, down the islands uh, on the Caribbean, uh, this is a bird that you will see in a lot of these islands. Uh, this is the green-throated carib. And uh, look for these birds. Uh, what you do is uh, you look for the food source. In this case, we have an aloe vera uh, in bloom. And uh, if it's visited once, it might not be long until um, another one comes, uh, where you can get uh, some pictures of it. Okay, this uh, is a bird that uh, approaches our passengers uh, in the island of Guadalupe. Uh, this is called the Greater Antillian Bullfinch. And uh, it's called Greater, not really because of the size, but because of the islands that it's on. It's, it's found on the larger of the Antilles. Um, they are normally uh, in parks in many of the sites that we visit as well. And um, well, they will uh, approach you hoping that you can give some fruit or something like that. So quite a, an easy bird to see. Uh, male uh, has these red patches. There it is again. And the female is just plain brown. Okay, this uh, right here we have is a black uh, faced grassquit. Um, this uh, is another bird that has dimorphism. The, the females are almost identical to that um, um, greater Antilles bullfinch. Um, and they are seed eaters. Look at the beak. The beak is uh, quite uh, sturdy, short for cracking members of the grass family. Another of the bird uh, that we'll see in the region is the banana quit. And there are different uh, subspecies of these birds as you travel throughout the islands. Uh, they will be definitely different than the ones that you will see in the mainland. Um, but they are the only member of their family, the family Querie. Okay, here we have a Caribbean Elenia, another of the flycatchers. Uh, you might not see this one uh, on the mainland, uh, only on the islands. A lot of these flycatchers use perches to hunt. They leave the perch to catch flying insects, and then uh, they'll return to the perch conveniently so we can take a picture of it. Migrants are another attraction. Migrants from North America uh, go south in the uh, month of March and April, and they will return to North America to nest in the month of September and October. Some of them are difficult to see in the mainland, and they're much easier to see in some of these islands with more scarce vegetation. This is yellow floated uh, warbler. Okay, this is a, a species of uh, tree, uh, it belongs on the ficus genus. And this is one of the uh, strangler fig trees. Um, many famous naturalists have referred to these trees as the restaurants of the rainforest, because many of them will uh, produce fruits several times a year. And it's an ideal place uh, to find wildlife on them. So it's a type of uh, strangler fig tree. Some of the islands uh, are quite arid. Uh, such as the island of Bonaire. And this is an example of uh, the mother-in-law stool or Turk's head, uh, which you will be uh, finding in some of these more arid islands. Pigeons, normally you don't regard them as uh, difficult to see them, but there are many species here. 
This is uh, actually the white crown pigeon, and it is found uh, easily on some of the islands that we visit on the Peruvian side. <clears throat> they belong on the Columbidae family. This one happens to be the Zenaida dog. Uh, the Zenaida dog has that patch right on the neck that changes colors as the angle of the light changes. Um, so uh, they're found in the ABC islands and other islands as well of the Caribbean. One of the flycatchers that you might see is the uh, great kingbird. And there are several kingbirds. Um, they have very small differences. It might be a good idea to get a picture to get a positive uh, identification. Um, some of these birds also is important to look at the status. Uh, which island is it that you saw it on? And that uh, might uh, indicate which species it is. Okay, here we have a Mexican love vine. Uh, the genus is Antigonum, and um, this is a very prodigious nectar producer. You can see this one is being visited by bees, uh, but it will also be visited by uh, birds, uh, such as hummingbirds, uh, banana quits. Uh, so, good idea uh, to wait around when you find this plant so you can actually spot some of the wildlife. Bromeliads is another group of plants that you will see here because they are only found in the Americas. Uh, they are related to pineapples and they have concave leaves so they can funnel all the nutrients uh, to the center of the plants where they will uh, be absorbed by it. They do not feed from the tree. They are epiphytes, not parasites. Uh, and when they're in bloom, uh, they also tend to attract uh, pollinating birds. Some of them will actually produce uh, solid fruits that attract tanagers as well. And well, Cuban pygmy owl. Cuba is uh, a very special place because it has over 25 species of endemic birds. Uh, so to see the Cuban pygmy owl, you will actually have to go to Cuba. They're quite small, but they're quite fast, and they can actually sometimes catch hummingbirds. We visit uh, a place in Cuba called Cienfuegos, where they have a beautiful botanical garden. And this is a palm uh, we call Copernicia. <laughs> this one here is found in some places on the Caribbean and in South America. Nowhere else is clear proof of these islands separating through uh, from the mainland uh, as the uh, continental plates drift. There's 25 species, and that's the distribution. Uh, Hispaniola would be Republica Dominicana and also in South America. This right here uh, is a trogon, and uh, we have a lot of trogons in the Americas, but this one is uh, endemic to Cuba. I call it the Tocororo, um, and uh, it's only found in, um, in Cuba. They are famous for regurgitating seeds of many species of trees. So they are very, very good spreaders of seeds. This one here, uh well it's one of the not one of the smallest but the smallest uh, bird is actually the bee hummingbird and the male is what we're looking at right here um sometimes you get to see it in cuba and uh we're talking about uh one and a half grams in weight quite a small bird now, uh, here we have uh, another impressive bird from Cuba. This uh, happens to be the lizard cuckoo. And uh, well, it took me a while until I could actually uh, photograph this bird. We have other cuckoos um, in the mainland. We even have migrant cuckoos from North America. And they are on a different family altogether. 
Manuel Cucus up in Europe. Okay, uh, a good idea is to bring your camera. This bird, I actually saw the movement and took a picture, and that's the, the only thing I see now is the picture because it was moving so fast. And this is the Cuban green woodpecker. Uh, so you never know, uh, you might see one of the difficult ones uh, in any of these spots that we go to. So uh, as you travel through the islands, uh, you will see the Geiger tree. This uh, right here belongs on the Boraginaceae family. And uh, well, uh, it's very attractive to hummingbirds. So uh, I hope that you enjoy uh, that. Uh, I don't want to make it too long, but uh, I think I got the computer figured out and uh, I might uh, make a couple more videos uh, to explain you about the same subjects. So um, stay safe and I hope to actually uh, see you uh, very soon.